Hey y'all, I'm Mandy and this is Mandy in the making. Today I'm going to show you how to make this yummy Italian soup in the crock pot. Today's video is in collaboration with Carol over at The Simple Mama. I'm going to link her channel here, but be sure to go and check out her video. She's got another crock pot recipe for you and I just love her and I know you will too. All right, so this soup is called pasta e fagioli. And honestly, I don't think I'm saying that right, but I'm gonna move on. You'll need a pound of ground beef. That's what the recipe calls for, but we've been using a pound of Italian sausage and we like it a lot better. It gives it more flavor. You'll need carrots, celery, onion, two cloves of garlic, a 28 ounce can of crushed tomatoes, 28 ounces of beef broth. You'll need Italian seasonings, salt and pepper, a can of cannellini beans. I couldn't find them this time, so I got the Great Northern Beans instead, and it was just fine. A can of light red kidney beans. A cup of uncooked pasta. It calls for ditalini pasta, but I couldn't find that this time, so I just used elbow macaroni. And then you'll need Parmesan cheese grated for the top. The recipe calls for four stalks of celery diced, two whole carrots diced, my um, target did not have whole carrots, it just had the baby carrots, so that's what I had to go with. And then one onion diced. After I diced everything, I just put it all in that container and took it over to my slow cooker. I'm gonna line my slow cooker with a um, crock pot liner. I love those things, they just make cleanup so easy. Now I'm just taking the Italian sausage and crumbling it up into the bottom of the slow cooker. You don't have to cook it first because it is gonna cook all day long. You don't have to worry about that. That freaks me out a little bit, but it works, I promise. Next, you're gonna add in your crushed tomatoes, then your beef broth. After that, I added in the minced garlic, two cloves, and then all of the cut up vegetables. Then I just sprinkled Italian seasoning over top of it and salt and pepper, and I stir all of that up. Then you just cover it and cook it either on high for three to four hours or low for seven to eight hours. You probably noticed I didn't put in the beans or the pasta. You do that 30 minutes before you're ready to eat. So it's been all day. And it's almost time to eat, but right before we eat, I make sure that all of the sausage is chopped up, and then I add in the uncooked macaroni, and then I'm adding in the beans, which have been drained and rinsed. Then I just pop the lid back on and set the timer for 30 minutes. Just time for the pasta to cook. Okay, so the timer went off, which means it's supper time, y'all. And it's time to eat. And my guys were really happy because the house smelled heavenly. I usually just check on it to be sure that all of the pasta is cooked and add a little more salt and pepper and then we put it in the bowls and right on top we just put some grated Parmesan cheese just like they do at the Italian restaurants and it is delicious. Thank you so much for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if it looks yummy to you too. Also don't forget to go check out Carol's video today. I know you'll enjoy it as well. And if you're coming over from Carol's channel, thank you so much for stopping by, and I hope you'll consider subscribing before you leave. I'll see y'all next time.